Hello and welcome back to Indoor Games. My name is Casey and today we will once again be continuing on our Jedi Knight story playthrough of Star Wars The Old Republic. I know we're doing it again amazing. Well, that's debatable, but we're doing it again. You are just so loud. You're so loud. <laughs> Nice spin. That was a nice spin. You know, you're so loud. It, it just attracted me so much. I got nothing to say. I got nothing at all. Nothing. You got anything to say? Interesting. Very interesting. You got anything else to say about it? That's pretty good. That works for me. I'll do one too. Here we go. We did it. Now we spun around and now we can start our day. Oh, he did it again. What an amazing little droid. Suicide Squad. Oh no, is Harley Quinn going to be here? I hope not. I'm tired of seeing her in all these things. I used to like her at one point in time, but now I just feel like... Uh, every time I see her now... True story. Master Tolbrock, I want you to help Jedi Leia Nariz on Hoth. Her mission is vital to finding the Emperor's hidden fortress. She will provide you with details when you arrive. Use your ship's galaxy map to travel to Hoth. I want to go there. That place sucks. I mean, look at it. Just look at it. It's just snow. I mean, I like snow, but that's a little bit too much snow. I'm that kid who, when it snowed around Christmas time, it was amazing. It doesn't seem like it does that as much anymore nowadays. I bet people would probably say that's global warming or some crap like that. Maybe. Maybe so. Or maybe there was a guy in the area who had a snow machine who was artificially putting stuff up into the atmosphere and making it snow around Christmas time, but he moved away or something and now he's not here anymore. That's probably what actually happened. I'm gonna go with that. Few lifeforms can survive on the ice planet Hoth. Between its sub-zero surface temperatures, shearing winds, and frequent whiteouts, the environment should be considered extremely hostile, even if properly outfitted individuals. Mechanical equipment and communications technology are prone to freeze and malfunction as well, making any minor setback potentially lethal. Oh no. During the war between the Republic and Empire, the Hoth system was the site of a major fleet battle. This resulted in a large number of, number of starships falling into Hoth's gravity. Well. <laughs> and crashing onto the planet's surface. These derelict ships have become the base of operations for a large group of pirates. Oh no. Arg. As well as the center of dispute between the Republic and Imperial forces. I'm more concerned about the pirates. I mean, real pirates are nothing like anime pirates. Anime pirates are always so nice and they can be reasoned with. But real pirates, you know... What was that movie? Captain Phillips or whatever? Yeah, watch that movie. That's a more accurate representation of what pirates are, are really like nowadays. Jedi Knight, I don't Please care. Identify. Master Tol Braga sent me to help you. I already received word of your success on Balmora. Glad you're here. As if Hoth wasn't hostile enough, I'm contending with the Empire and White Maw pirates of all things. Oh no. Your signal is, it's kind of breaking up. 
I'm getting a lot of interference on this end. What's the problem? The planet's atmosphere plays havoc with calm frequencies. It's cold here, buddy. We're lucky to have any signal at all. Hoth's one of the largest starship graveyards in the galaxy. During the war, there was a massive battle in orbit. Dozens of vessels crashed to the surface. Because of the freezing cold, they remained well preserved. Some are almost intact. Hmm, that explains the pirates. I imagine the White Maw came here to loot the remains. Several ships are Imperial too. The Empire doesn't want the pirates or us getting to them. One of the crash okay. vessels contained a full technical readout of the Emperor's fortress. The map of the bad guy's house. Nice. Nice. One of the Empire's top scientists during the war upgraded the fortress's defenses. He was the only non-Sith to ever see the inside. The technical readouts were lost when the scientists crashed here. His shipwreck has never been found. I do hope you have a lead on it. I doubt those I technical click readouts <laughs> survived. This is a waste of time. You'd be amazed what's still intact. There's a good reason everyone's coming to Hoth. Those technical readouts are critical to infiltrating the Emperor's fortress. We will not fail. <laughs> T polished equals T seven polished equals whatever plus charged equals base. rating. Take a shuttle to the surface and meet me there. <laughs> Leha Nerez out. So basically, he's polished, charged, and ready to go. All right, here we go. Down to the cold place. It's cold here. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. That was really cool looking. You ready, Kira? Kind of tempted to bring T7 with me. He did say he was polished and charged and ready to go. Stand by for examination and suggested products. Okay. Fit for duty. Return to Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> can I pet you? Hey, ma'am, can I pet your dog? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. And he starts talking to you, and you're like, oh. <laughs> what in the world do you want? The Hoth Master Jedi. The shuttle is prepped and ready. We're just waiting for clearance from the station controller to launch. I thought he was gonna say, "You want a hug?" For some reason, that's what I heard when he first started talking. But that's not what he said, was it? That's a shame. I really wanted one. What's it like down there? I've never even heard of this planet before. He should just say, "What should I expect?" Old. I hope you like ice. You've got your ice canyons, your ice plains, some ice mountains. Ice really? mountains? You ought to try to savor this delay. Every minute you're not freezing to death is a good one. Anything else I should know? Any other relevant information about this place? There are worse things on Hoth than the weather. 
This place is crawling with Imperials and pirates. Oh, Before I forget, no. you'll need this cold weather equipment. If you're lucky, you won't use it much. Everything checks out. You are cleared for launch. You should check in with the commander at Auric base when we land. He'll be able to tell you a lot more about Hoth. I'm just glad he didn't forget my cold weather equipment. I would have been super mad at you if you would have done that. Buddy. You shouldn't point at people, that's rude. Yep. What's going on here? Oh, you look sad. What's wrong? Oh, it's okay, buddy. You look so sad. Oh. Okay. I did something. Sorry I couldn't meet you. We've got a full-scale Imperial invasion on our hands. They caught us by surprise. Am I on my way? Tell me your position. I'll come to you. I'm defending a forward outpost. But our support team is pinned down closer to you. I'm sending the coordinates now. You're looking for a detachment from the 301st Infantry led by Sergeant Rusk. His squad is being overrun by Imperial probe droids. Well, consider them rescued then. I'll find your friends. Rescued. A few probe droids shouldn't pose much of a threat. These droids are set to rush targets and explode when they get close enough. Oh no. I have to hand it to the Empire. When it comes to killing people, they're innovators. Oh well, yeah, Sergeant that's what Rusk they do. Has vital information we need. You should know. I'm counting on you to keep him and his men alive. May the force be with you. How many times do I have to tell people this? It's always with me. I keep it in a little box in my back pocket. Okay? It's a really cool box too. Can you see it? No. It's mine. Welcome. Got a full stock and permission to sell. Good for you. Wait, was I asking? I don't think I was asking. Back in one piece. No, I'll try. Oop. Best place to buy. Durable, military-grade supplies. Come back in one piece. Yep, yeah, yeah, I... Yeah. Okay. It's a little better. I wonder... It's not terrible. True, I could use these. Wait, look at something. Well, 
Welcome. Got a full stock and permission to sell. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Come back in one piece. Not that much better. It's <laughs> not. <laughs> well, yeah, I do because I have that gear. I do have. This other outfit. Maybe I should wear it because it's colder out there. Plus, because of what color it is, I might blend in a little bit. Who knows? It's got a cape too. Look here. A cape. What do you think about that? Let's talk later. Feels like we ought to be saving the galaxy right now. No, oh, oh, oh. Fine. Fine. Be that way. Master Jedi, Hello. I can't tell you how glad I am you've arrived. Welcome to Auric Base. What's left of it? I'm Lieutenant Laskin. Did Republic Command send you? Did they get my distress signal? Nobody mentioned it. I don't think your signal got through. The station seemed pretty calm. You don't know? If you're not here to answer my distress call, I, I don't know what we're going to do. We can't hold out much longer. An explosion in one of the speeder hangars knocked out main power. Within seconds, we were under heavy Imperial fire. Our shields haven't switched to auxiliary power yet. Hmm. You need to get out of here. This base is just a giant target for another Imperial attack. You should retreat to a safer position. I know, but I can't order an evacuation while we have people out of communication with the base. We still have men in the field on a critical mission. Or we did when we were attacked anyway. Between the Imperials and the cold. I don't have enough people for a search party. Please, if you could head out there. You're their only chance. Fine, I'll look for them. Just tell me where to go. They were headed out to check the long-range sensors. With those running again, we'd have some warning before another attack hit. If you reach them, give them these. Fresh weapons and supplies. Then they might make it back. And thank you. Sure. sure. Let's get out of here, Kira. These people are weird. I'm way weirder than they are. Hey. That may or may not be true. But you should not. Master Jedi, please, it's so cool. We've been on a lost for years fighting the Republic freezing, barely surviving. We were almost free, but surprise attack, snow melted by Taroga blood. Wait. Togruta blood? However you say it. We're all that's left. This won't stand. The Republic values your sacrifice. We will not tolerate this injustice. Chaskruni do pat kurira do kanki kung. Chonki faguta jiho poda ji oto vokise. Wo grani tampi oto. We escaped with our lives, but we left the clearance permits behind. Can't leave Hoth without them. Reissues take six months minimum, and we won't survive that long. I'll go get your clearance. Why don't you let me deal with this? Oh, thank you. I'm glad Hoth hasn't worn you down yet. As we saw, our camps were out. Oh, we're overrun with Imperials. If you find our clearance permits, we'd be grateful. Yeah, yeah. I forgot to read part of what you were saying to him. <laughs> I realized, oh, I'm supposed to read that. I'm also wondering if I should wear the hood.
together with Tatooine, would it make a decent planet with nice weather? Maybe it might make the perfect place. It would melt a lot of it. It'd just become like a tropical paradise. It would be awesome. I want to use this headpiece, but then it puts the hood on. That's not what I wanted. And then it puts the lotion on its skin so it doesn't get the hose again. That makes me think of a couple movies, but it, at the moment it makes me think of Joe Dirt. When he gets caught by the guy and he's trying to, and he's making him do that. Okay, well I guess let's go try to find survivors. That looks hilarious. It's like I got, I got wings. <laughs> I feel like I'm Batman or something. <laughs> Batman. Hey, buddy. Am I seeing things? Maybe. I didn't think there was anyone else left alive on this planet. What's the word from Oric Base? It's nothing on the comm, but static. I was starting to think they pulled out and left us. You, you guys should probably, uh, head back. Oric Base is in bad shape. They took heavy casualties and they need all the help they can get. See? I told you to stop being so negative. They didn't leave us. They're just nearly all dead. Right. You're a model of optimism. What about our mission? We can't leave the sensors like this. You know what? I guess I'll deal with the sensors because, you know, I really have a choice. I'll handle it. Without the sensors, Auric Base is blind. They won't have any warning blind. the Empire is coming. If you can reach the arrays, you can bring them back online. There are a lot of Imperials in the area, though. We'd better get moving if we're not going to freeze to death. See you back at the base. See you there. I guess I'll go do your job as well. Now I become Batman. I mean, normally I would be like, oh no, I can't use this because that's terrible. But I think it's hilarious, so I'm just going to keep it. <laughs> I think it's funny. What did you just throw?
He's trying to fix it. You're a terrible sniper. You need to back up. Okay. One down, three more to go, sadly. That man. I never actually used that. <laughs> I thought I did. Okay. Well, there it is. It's right there, Kira. Guys. I know this cape is very uncooperative, isn't it? And I do have another outfit that I want to wear. And I imagine the cape will be... I have no idea, actually. <laughs> but I already had this one. Like, to get an outfit that you don't, like, necessarily have. Like, you can have it on another character. Let's take the crystals, like... Uh... Like this one, I can just get this one as many times as I want, because I've already bought it, basically. And what I mean by bought it... Like, to get it for all characters. Like, if you have it on one character and you want to get it for all characters... You kind of got to unlock it. I imagine that they make a lot of money off of that. It is nice to have though. It sucks that you got to spin things on it. But to be able to have something on another character and you can't get it on another one. It's like, oh, I can just do this. It's great. It also makes it easy so if you want to like make a new character and you just want to have a bunch of things when you start. I don't necessarily like doing that though. I feel like I like working towards, you know, getting things, getting better uh, gear that looks cool. It's kind of why I waited to even put this on until I got to level 40 because I didn't want to do that. Time to go this way, Kira. You think they're they're gonna yell and go ah and attack me? You think they're gonna do it? They didn't do it. They didn't do it. Why? I'm shocked and surprised. I also feel like a Batman again. Woo! I'm gonna fly. You live. You me? Yeah, I know. 
You talking about the guy you you stuck with your lifesaver? I'm not so sure. guys. You were kind of right there. There was nothing I could do. Good as new. Some cool towers. Those aren't towers. What are those? Took you so long to get over here, Kira. Slow poke. You just slow. Stop it. Hey, look here, blue man. You go back to your group. And you guys go sing and dance all you want. This is my territory, you know. This is my arena. You stay away. Only green man territory here. I do need to get whatever they are over here with the recover the clearance permits. But from where and from what? Excuse me guys coming through. Big man on campus right there. Um... As new. Good as new? Okay. We're gonna do it. Look at that here. It's gonna happen. Maybe. Perhaps. He needs to quit doing that. Of course, I jump to him and you pull him back. Trolling me as always, Kira. Doing a great job of that. And is there one over here? That would be nice and convenient. I don't see it. Do you see a data pad around here, Kira? No? 
Oh, there's one. Look at that gear. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. We did it. There's a mountain over there. Look at it. I said, look at it. Oh my goodness, that looks like a, like a base. <laughs> what was that Nickelodeon monster show? Man, I can't remember the name of that. I used to watch that all the time. No, not Monsters, Inc. You find them. What are they worth to you? Some people would pay a fortune to escape harm. Would you do the same? Our bonus is take them anything to leave this wretched place. I suggest you leave this planet soon as well. It's freezing your heart. That may be true. But I mainly just wanted the dark side points. You know, I don't think it really matters at this at this point because I'm so far away from it. If I didn't have all the light side decisions, I have a thousand light sides. <laughs> I would be 300 away from the next tier, but at this point I'm like 1300 away. So, you know. I've got good suppliers. Only the best sold here. I doubt that. It doesn't look like it. Nice to see customers. Can I get you anything? That's a bad sign when you go to buy something from somebody and they're like, Oh, I haven't seen a customer in three years. Feel free to browse. That's true, they could still be really good at what they do. They just, you know, bad location or something. You made it. Welcome back. With the long range sensors working again, it's starting to look like we might pull through this after all. Calm down. Master Jedi, we're honored that you took the time to help us. Those men owe you their lives. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. You're most welcome, sir. Helping others is both a duty and an honor. Sir, a distress flare was just fired from the power relay. Oh no. That relay is the only reason we still have shields and heat. If the Tal's defending it are being overrun. Orders, Lieutenant? I don't know. Why are you in charge? You're a completely pathetic man. Is Lieutenant your first name? For an officer, you don't seem to have any leadership skills. I, I, I'm sorry. Please, go to the relay. If you can't hold off the Empire, send up a flare. We'll try to evacuate as much of the base as we can. I mean, sure, that was harsh, but I mean, come on, dude. You're supposed to be in charge, and you're like, oh, what do we do? What? Oh, no. I, if you were my commander, I would be like, is this guy okay? <laughs> what do we do here? This is... Yeah, it doesn't inspire much, much confidence, right? When your commander's over there crying and doesn't know what to do. This is the oddest fish tank I've ever seen in my life. Is that guy wearing invisible pants? You can see his pants. What's going on with this guy? Are you okay? Did you just fall on the ground? He looked... He kind of looked like he just fell on the ground. 
I'm gonna stay here and investigate whether or not he fell on the ground. Do you guys think he fell on the ground? What about you, buddy? You think he fell on the ground? Either way, I do hope everyone enjoyed themselves. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And of course, if you didn't, please also do the same thing. Please do it. It'd be great. But of course, you don't have to do any of that. But what you do have to do is you gotta have a good day. Because without a good day, you got nothing. And after that good day, hopefully I shall see you on the next one. And I guess now there really is only one thing left to say, and that is goodbye.